In this video, we're going to go over networking do's and don'ts. So this is also a very important lesson here because I see time and time again, a lot of people going about networking in the wrong way. A lot of people will typically use networking and they'll you know, go after individuals and talk to people with selfish type of interest. Well, that isn't going to necessarily work in the networking world. You have to be able to know how to go about it properly and some of the things to do and some of the things to not do so that you're not turned away, you're not turning people off, and they're actually looking to try to help you any way they can so they can connect you with different people, uh, they can connect you with different opportunities, and you can you know, always have people and backing you that you know are able to you know be in your best interest so let's go ahead and jump into the networking do's and don'ts so building a network is one of the most important things that you can do for your career and it's best for you to get started right away where you're able to connect with people where you're able to you know message them and just really get your name out there in the marketplace and one of the best places that you can go out there and do this is on linkedin where you can connect with different people in your network out of your network you can connect with people who are you know connected within your network you can go to second connections third tier connections and so you really are able to build a nice network on linkedin and be able to take advantage of that for your particular career because as the old saying goes it's not what you know it's who you know so the more opportunities that you have right the more people that you know that are in your field that can point you in certain directions that can introduce you to certain people's right is really going to make the difference in your career and like i mentioned most people go about networking the wrong way what they're typically looking to do is go out there and talk about themselves and talk about what i've done and you know this is what i'm about and this is what i can do versus coming across trying to just be genuinely interested in the other person looking to add some value you know seeing how you can be of service to that individual and even if you're not doing whatever it is that you are recommending and you're just saying hey i'd like to help you out and do xyz for you even if you don't ultimately do that just the fact that you are you know offering that will get people to you know want to actually help you out because nobody likes people just coming in and asking for help or asking for you know hey can you do this favor for me can you do that for me but then offering nothing in return right so be very mindful of that when you're talking to people instead of going to you know an opportunity here or a scenario where you have a connection or you're looking to build a connection with somebody don't go in there with your own self-generated interest right what you can do is go in there and be able to acknowledge them saying hey john smith i you know was looking at your profile looking at your background you know i'm really impressed by you know what you've done at xyz hey listen i'm interested in seeing if there may be an opportunity or you may know somebody who is looking for xyz you know whatever that may be if you can keep an eye out i'd really appreciate that and then also the same thing for you on my end where if something comes up i'll keep an eye out for you right something like that or just really acknowledging them their background their history their expertise right and seeing if there's an opportunity there if they know somebody but just coming in saying hey can you do me a favor can you do this for me right is not going to get people to respond to you and it's going to turn a lot of people off so make sure you're at least acknowledging them you're you know giving them praise as far as their background their you know expertise their accomplishments and then seeing if like hey there's an opportunity here for you to recommend somebody or if you know somebody who may be looking for you know xyz type of you know workers or individuals right so that's how you want to go about networking you want to remember to always lead with acknowledgement or value and never just go in there trying to ask for a favor with your own self-interest so that's going to be here for the networking do's and don'ts and we'll see you on the next one